So just working with landowners is my number one deal. That's what I'm going for. The Partners for Fish and Wildlife program, we only work with private landowners. So I've only worked with private landowners on their properties, restoring, enhancing, reestablishing wildlife habitat for the most part for federal trust species. The New Mexico Boys and Girls Ranch uh, has been around since 1944. Um, they take care of troubled kids. Uh, the kids come to us from a variety of, you know, everything from the courts to uh, traditional uh, orphans, troubled kids whose parents can't handle them, they approach the ranch. We raise feed for the cows and for the horses. The horses are used for equine therapy. The cows are used to feed the kids. We open the ranch up to a group of hunting dog trainers. With the improvements we've made, it's pretty ideal for training hunting dogs. So you might ask why? Why would partners get involved with a dog organization? Hunters are buying licenses and ant guns and ammo and duck stamps in particular, upland game bird stamps for the states. All of those pieces play a role into the bigger picture of conservation. And I think a lot of people don't realize that. And the whole idea with this event and just being out here with these folks, a lot of folks think there's always only desert in New Mexico, but historically there was a lot more wetlands and that's what we got going on here. We got the wetlands back. So why I'm even out here is just to let folks know that it was hunters that really started all this conservation stuff. And I'm so excited to see that the Partners for Fish and Wildlife program has gotten involved here and helped this event become possible in the West. This has been primarily an event that has been centered in other parts of the country and it's wonderful to see it happening here. And especially if you've got hunting in the family with these new generational hunt hunters, they're teaching their youngsters now. And we're providing the habitat for them to see that, okay? This is what the kind of stuff you hunt on. I had never hunted before. Um, my parents didn't really hunt. My grandparents had, but I didn't know them. And when I got the dog, I had no interest in hunting. And it just seemed like something that was kind of old fashioned or not something I was interested in. But now it's my favorite thing to do. Like I love to watch my dog work and just be out in the open. And I love being outdoors. I love walking behind her and seeing all the training pay off when she finds a bird, points a bird, and if I manage to shoot it and then she retrieves it to me, it's pretty awesome to, to see that. So You don't really realize when you're a new hunter how important conservation really is, right? Because um, you're focused on the dog and the birds and getting out and walking, and really once you get into understanding habitat and what you're looking for and what property is out there and how things are managed, I think that really um, kind of brought to light for me the real need for conservation, right? One cannot exist without the other. Working with these landowners and how they understand the system now, they're teaching other folks, they're telling other folks how this stuff works because if you, you can't have restoration without education and I pride myself in educating folks on how this stuff fits in with us because you've got to find that nexus of how it's going to be for me and for the next generation. So that's my legacy. These landowners understanding what this stuff means, putting it on the ground and keeping it on the ground because this is valuable. They understand how valuable it is.